I'm here sitting in the Volt, and we're going to do a little bit of an experiment with immobilizers. So I've got the key for the Volt right here. I'm going to take this, and we'll verify that it works, where I push my button, put on the brake, dash comes on, entertainment comes on, and I get to the ready symbol where I could drive the car and roll away. Okay, so everything powered up, normal operation, right? So now I'm going to take my key. This has got a transponder key in it, so it communicates wirelessly with the DCM or the keyless entry module. I'm gonna take a piece of aluminum foil. I'm gonna wrap up the key just like that. Not real tight, but just to close it up in that. Here's my key. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button. And I get action required, no remote detected. And so what this is doing is simulating if I had a bad key or a key that could not communicate with the vehicle. Um, lots of different reasons why this can come up. You can imagine that people can be quite hard on keys. Um, we also now have so much more technology and electronics in our keys that the probability of a dead battery in that key becomes higher and higher. And so this is something that shows us what could happen. And so next what we're going to do is get a scan tool out. And we'll look at what kind of PIDs can I see and can we recognize that we have a bad key based on scan tool data? So the next thing we're going to do is look at two different scan tool inputs. So I've got the Snap-on and I've got also a GM MDI2. So we'll see what the OE level tool can show us in terms of immobilizer data um, along with the Snap-on tool. So here we got the GM MDI2 and I'm going to go ahead and Go to Diagnostics, wait for it to select my tool, connect to the car. I've got the ignition turned on at this point. It sees we've got our 2018 volt and I go to enter. And now we can go ahead after this disclaimer, go pick the module that we want to look at. So on this particular vehicle, the body control module um, is the gateway for the immobilizer. It looks at the key data, runs that code against what's learned and what codes it knows or what key it knows, um, and then makes the decision as to whether or not that key applies to our car. So here I'm gonna go down, pick body control module. When I get into body control module, I'm gonna go to data display, and then I've get a sub list of different PID collections. I'm gonna go to immobilizer data. And so then I'm gonna to try to my best to zoom this in because it didn't capture too well with the camera, but about halfway down, you can see that there are some PIDs related to keys. Um, so immobilizer allow engine to start and then also primary key and secondary key status. And so here, just as I wrap the key in foil, the key swaps from a yes to no key detected. Uh, so there we've got a pretty clear path uh, if we thought we had a key problem, we can see that, hey, the key is indeed part of the issue. And so one of the interesting things um, with many cars that have a transponder key like this is that, as we saw on the dash before, it will talk about a pocket or some kind of place to place the key if you think you're having issues. Um, so traditional mobilizers pre-transponder keys would have utilized an RFID chip. Um, to help with this process. And most of these keys still have that capability. Um, and then there's a special place in the vehicle, uh, typically in the glove box, where you would insert the key. Um, in that space, there's an antenna that excites the RFID chip and then hopefully gets you access with the car or the ability to start the car if, say, your key had a dead battery. So next we went over to the Solus Edge Snap-on tool. I went through the same set of procedure. I'm in the BCM, I'm on the immobilizer data screen, and really all the same PIDs exist here. And actually when I got to this tool, I learned something about some of the information on the previous tool. Um, I didn't capture it well in video, but I'll just hold on to some stills here. And so the one that really jumped out at me was this immobilizer environment device PID. There's a series of four of these, and they toggle between unknown and correct based on key status. So here I started with unknown. That's where it doesn't see the key. 
And then you can see here, it switches to correct when it does see the key and it's happy. And if you look at the timeline on the screen of the scan tool, you can see I was toggling between some of these. Um, so again, a great way with foil, we can understand what PIDs are going to change based on key recognition. And so it's a great experiment, even in the field as a tech, if I was concerned or confused about what I'm looking at, because this correct versus unknown PID is not very descriptive um, in my eyes. Uh, my experience with Asian and European import things, typically it's more straightforward than that. But all manufacturers are different. And ultimately, I want to understand it as quickly as I can so that I can fix the issue or rule out the key as an issue with whatever my concern is. So that's what I've got for you today. Make sure you hop on Cobra, check out the assignments that we've got going this week. And thanks for watching.